welcome to my gospel journey. This is Jackie, just to let you know that um, the enemy tried to get me last night. Um, well, he did actually. He, I was literally going to sleep and this is what he does. The enemy catches you when you're at your weakest. And um, I was fast asleep. Well, I was just about drifting off to sleep actually. And I felt the uh, quilt being moved behind my ears and it was a definite waft. You know, I mean, hypothetic. And, um, you know, being on my own and all the rest of it, it's, you know, I've got my kids obviously with me, but this is what he does. He, he catches you when you're at your weakest. It's always in the bedroom, isn't it? It's never when you're cooking or doing something to make it so obvious that he's around. It's always when you're at your most weakest. And um, it's very sad, but, um, it makes me aware that you know the enemy is is on is on my case and uh, i'm glad because it makes me realize how real this um journey actually is so um if you're not prayed prayed up if you're not prayed up um, you'll, you'll be caught off guard and um the enemy's getting sloppy um at the moment as well you know he's uh um, the United Nations has put that um, big creature outside the United Nations which is about I think it's to do with peace and safety or peace and security that's what it's representing and um, he's decided to choose um, the the beast from Revelation to 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 represent peace and security or peace and safety um, he's laughing at us <laughs> he really is laughing at us. It's in our faces and um, we have to expect that. We, we seriously do. And um, they know that the church knows exactly what they're doing and uh, they're doing it because they've got no choice but to do it this way because they have to follow the rules. And um, he's only allowed to do what God allows him to do and what God allows him to do, we know because it's in the Bible. So we know exactly what he's going to do. Um, we don't know when he's going to do all these things, but when we get to hear it, we know, oh, here we go, he's doing it again. You know, and um, I keep saying it, but many people have been deceived. And um, I'll say it again, you don't know you've been deceived because you've been deceived. And um, I really believe that in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, where it says the God of this world has blinded the non-believers. And um, as I said before, I had a real problem with the word non-believers because I know a lot of people that do believe in God and they trust God and everything else. But I think when it came down to it, they didn't really truly believe. And uh, that's probably why um, they've taken the watery substance. And um, it's gonna get tougher. And they're gonna keep squeezing us every day, every day they're gonna keep squeezing us and getting us to take that watery substance. And um, the more you buy into the bull, um, the more you're sucked into uh, the, the bee system. And it's a horrible thing to say because there's a lot of fantastic people that I know have, have been deceived. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything else like this where the deception is so high that it will be something else. I'll be very surprised if it is. Um, I, I think Jesus is coming soon. I believe that we will be raptured. Um, when that will be is, is, is God's perfect timing. Um, I'd like to say it's going to be before um, the tribulation starts, but I think the tribulation has already started, although a lot of people don't think so, but I think it has. And um, I believe it started with um, uh, the, the Ezekiel prophecy where, where Macron planted the cedar tree in Lebanon. I think that was the get-go to tell people that this, you know, it starts now. And it's interesting because I understand that France is, um, is no, no jab, no, no sell, no buy, no nothing. So I, I don't know how true that is. I'm going to look it up and put the link on the uh, screen. Um, you know, if, if I find it, that is. And um, I just believe that, you know, he, he started it all off. He kicked it all off and all the others have all got a job to do and they're all doing it. 
they're all doing it and um, many have been deceived I do believe however when it says in Revelation um, you know for those who have taken the mark of the beast they, there, there is no redemption um, I think when I read this I believe that I, I don't want to say there is no hope because I don't know but that's the way it first reads maybe um, this is the test and there is hope at the end of it there, you know I like to think there is hope because a lot of people that I know I just don't want to think about it to be honest so um, I'm going with the belief that um, you know God is good and you know there is hope but seriously um, this is where the sheep and the goats are being sorted out um, you know the wheat and the sh chaff I think people say um, is being sorted out you know God knows who his soldiers are um, he knows who believes in him you know and those who believe in him have taken the water substance it's not to say that you believe in him you, d you don't believe in him I just think you didn't have enough faith um, and that's what I seriously believe you know stay blessed in the Lord and um, keep reading your Bible and uh, repent if you think you've taken the water substance by mistake seriously um, repent that is your only I'm not gonna say salvation but that is your that is your chance to to be redeemed I believe through the Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus anyway stay blessed in the Lord as always and um, please listen to what I'm saying because it's getting darker um, I'm gonna put the links up with the beast and the description of the beast and also the picture of the hideous creature as well because it's obvious that they're, they're laughing at us they're laughing at us and um, it's going to get tougher and we need to make some real serious decisions that's the way i see it anyway so stay blessed folks and um i love you loads that's why i do these videos because i think that we need to sound the alarm and that's the bottom line